All right, how's it going guys? Diamond here. And today I'm back with another great plugin. And I actually done a video on this plugin before. It is called Bungie NPC and it's frankly an amazing plugin. It hasn't been getting an update in quite a while and developer got back to it and he put out a major update which I have to show you guys and it's just amazing. And of course, he's so kind enough. He's giving a copy away over at my Discord. If you guys want to join it, go ahead. It's limited time, so make sure to join it as you can and you have the chance of getting a plugin for free. So other than that, let's get straight to the plugin, which is relatively a very useful plugin because instead of just adding citizens, adding holograms, coding a plugin that allows you to see the same, see a different skin that the other user sees, anything regarding that, Bungie NPC just does it all in a nice, neat package for you guys. So I frankly just love it. So if you guys want to check it out, click the link in the description down below and we'll code all in the description down below. So yeah, other than that, let's get straight into the video. And it's pretty simple, so I'm just going to step right here. I'm going to go and just position myself wherever I want it. And we can do BNPC and then create. And that will pull up a menu right here. It can either be a bungee or command or coming soon. So he has more features coming soon. And a bungee is pretty much, it will send you to a different server, which is relatively quite simple. And then we have the command. So we can add a command, but I'm going to go for the command one. And then all we need to do is write a name. So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and write survival. And then there we go. Survival has been created. Look at him. He looks quite lovely. And in order to edit him, we don't need to run any commands whatsoever. All we need to do is go ahead and right click him while shifting. And then boom, we select him. So we can do B and PC, edit. And then right there, we have quite a large selection. We can add a name to him, which I just realized I don't have holographic displays. <laughs> So one quick reload after and then here we go. So his name is appearing correctly. I just forgot to install holographic displays. And then we can do, we can go ahead and select them again. Do BNPC edit. And then we can actually change his name. So over here we have his name. So it'll be a placeholder for now, but we can change it and add some color code to it. So let's go ahead for a nice bluish cyan. I don't know. And we can make it bold and then put survival like that. So it sounds epic. And then we, as you can see, it changed. Look at that. It looks much better. And then we can go ahead and edit again. And we can go ahead and do um, players online. And then we can add a bracket. And let's go for there's like 15 players online. And then we can even color code the whole thing. So for this one, I can make it have a white. And then for this one, I can make it be a green. And there we go. So once that's added, there you go. That looks really nice. I'm still not done yet, but we can add another line, which is really nice. And I'm just going to go ahead for add another line, which is right click. And I'll just keep that as white for now. And there you go. I added it. That looks much better than using citizens. I'm going to be honest with you. I highly prefer this, but there is so much more we can do. So we can do BNPC edit again. And then here we can go ahead and add a skin to it. So I can upload a skin. I can mirror a skin. Now I'm going to go for a mirror skin on this one because I am amazed that he actually added this so if i go ahead and click it boom look at that 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 just looks amazing i i love that so much pretty much means that whoever sees the skin it's gonna be his skin so if i was in an all right now for a different skin that alt would see their own skin while i still saw my very own skin it's just i love it so much you have no idea so we can go ahead and back in here and then we can do some special actions as well so we can make it lay down i mean i know i'm lazy but this is just an exaggeration right here but yeah, we can add even more. So I'm going to go ahead and make it go ahead and we're stand up. There we go. So make it stand up again. And then I can go ahead and make it sit, which is just amazing. You can't do this with citizens. Uh, let's go for some more. Uh, let's go make it stand up again and crouch. Look. At, oh, my God. It's just amazing. This is way too cool. I'm going to suggest this for the developer if he's actually watching this. For the next update, make it so if... If you go next to an NPC and you crouch, the NPC will crouch right with you. If you punch, the NPC would punch as well. That I, I want to see that. That's that should totally be the next update. But there you go. I, I'm gonna leave it crouching, and we can go ahead and go over to toggles. So here we can make it look whitelist. So and we can make it join. We can make it glow status. This is mainly for 1.12, so it wouldn't work here. And then the server layout as well. And I'm just gonna make it look close. I wonder if that will bug it. Because, no, it won't. Oh, wow, that actually is really smooth. That is very nice indeed. So it will look at you like any other NPC plugin. But this is Bungie NPC, which is 10 times better. Now, what we can do is add some skins. 
for example. So I actually have the folder open. And then if you go into the skins folder, I'm just going to go ahead and upload. Ooh, this is a tough one. So I'm just going to go ahead and upload my alt skin. And then all I got to do is come over here, upload skin, and then we just got to type in a name. So mine is true. And it should be uploaded. Just go out of GUI and then go back in. And there we go. So if I choose that skin, of course, I have to remove the mirror mode. So mirror mode goes off and there we go. That's my alt skin right there. That is just amazing. It works just wonders. So let's go ahead and edit. And in here we can edit the command because at the moment, if we right click it, all it'll say is you can change with BNPC edit. So I'm going to go ahead and edit and let's go ahead and put a different command. So what it will do is let's remove this one. First of all, we can edit command out. First of all, it will put us in GM1. And then here we can choose its type message, NPC, player, or console. I'm going to go for player. And then we can add more regarding it. So I'm going to go ahead and close that, add more. And then I will do TP. And let's go ahead and make us TP about uh, 150, which should be about 25 blocks above us. And there we go. So I have no idea if that command is actually going to work. But let's go ahead and try it out. And there we go, it actually works. So if I go into game mode, zero real quick and do it it puts me game of one teleports me now you can run this throughout any command you want this is just an example that you can add multiple commands even let's go ahead and see what else we can <laughs> I keep forgetting about that but yeah uh we can add armor of course which is very nice so let's give them some let's give a bow and some boots if this is 1.0 if you can add of course more layers but this is only 1.8 so let's go ahead and add some boots. So it says right here, this is the boot slot. We can add that. And then we can add this. This is the hand slot. This is the off hand slot. And then we can just click close. And there we go. Look at that. That's just amazing. Just the amount of features you can actually do with this. So as you can see here, there's multiples that you can do. And then this right here is not actually toggleable or clickable or anything. It's just informing of what type of NPC this is. So this is a command NPC. Regarding it's not a bunch of NPC. But yeah, it's very nice and configurable. I just love it. Of course, you can change your NPC name. Now, say, of course, if you do lose an NPC around the world or just anything regarding that, you, of course, can just do BC NPC you teleport to, and it'll just teleport you right here. There are a ton of commands. You don't have to do it all free GUI. Of course, you can do BNPC help, and then you have all the help menus you can get right here. But I just like using GUI because it's nice, it's there, and it's made for you. So there you go. That's pretty much all the commands. And it's just, I just love the amount of features you can actually do with this plugin. It's very nice and configurable. I love it. And make sure to go ahead in the description down below, join the Discord for that free giveaway. So thanks so much for watching the video. If you guys have enjoyed this video, don't forget to smack that like button down below. If you guys want to see more, put your ideas in the comment section. I'll make sure to be reading them. Other than that, I'm Diamond and hope to see you guys next time. I'm out. Cheers.